Good evening, everyone. Um, I would like to ask you just two simple questions. Imagine you could save one life by telling a story. Would you do that? Imagine you could sa save 10 lives, 100 lives, by making a movie or writing an article. Would you do that? Why doesn't this happen more often? I'm Dr. Colemo. As already said, I'm a gastroenterologist, a very difficult word to say that I'm a maag-darm specialist, and that's part of my blue team, my colleagues, my nurses, my secretary. This is my problem. I am seeing too much colon cancer. At least seven times a month, I have to tell to a patient that he or she has colon cancer. That's how it looks like. Colon cancer is a silent killer. And if you don't know the enemy, you can't win the war. This is my biggest problem. In 2014, people are getting colon cancer due to a lack of information. We heard about big data, but today people are still dying and are getting colon cancer because of lack of information. I will show you some naked numbers. How many people know the story of the little polyp and it takes eight to 10 years before a little polyp turns into cancer? How many people know that not all polyps turn into cancer? How many people know there's a very simple test, a test to screen your stool? It's very simple, I have it with me. This test, what they call the mascara test or the EFOP test, this test you can use in your bathroom and it can save your life. How many people know the myth about the colonoscopy? That a colonoscopy is painful, is invasive, is difficult? I can tell you the truth. A colonoscopy is not painful, is not difficult, is not invasive. When I turned 50, I did it myself. One of my colleagues did it by me. And when afterwards they asked me, hi hey, Luke, how was your colonoscopy? Well, I said, well, in and out. I didn't notice anything about the colonoscopy. How many people know that one out of 20 people get colon cancer? At least 30 people in this audience will get colon cancer. But you can also be positive, and you can say, well, that means also that 19 out of 20 people won't get colon cancer, but they have to know what to do. How many people know the 80-20% rule for colon cancer? That means that 80% of the cases of colon cancer not have anyone else in the family. They are so-called sporadic or isolated cases. And only 20% of the people with colon cancer have genetic or familiar factors. How many people know this good news? That 95% of the people with colon cancer can be cured if the colon cancer is detected in an early stage. These people, they didn't have that luck that it was detected in an early stage. This picture was taken one year ago, and I can tell you, some of these patients are not yet among us. They died of colon cancer. How many people know that 10% of the colorectal cancer patients are young people? They don't have 50, they have 35. 40, 29, also young people can get colon cancer. How many people know that the blue ribbon, the blue ribbon that I'm wearing, that's the symbol for the fight against colon cancer? And how many people know that the, the month of March, this month, is the International Colon Cancer Awareness Month? How many people know this before coming to this meeting? Let ha let's have a look to the numbers. You see the numbers of breast cancer, you see the number for AIDS, you see the PIP implants. I won't look into the room, but I'm sure there are some PIP implants in the room. And you see the traffic victims. That's too much. I lost my father in an air crash 20 years ago in Kenya. So I know what it means losing someone from a family in a traffic victims. But let's have a look at colon cancer. So many people with colon cancer. Imagine that the media would spend the same attention to colon cancer 
as they do to breast cancer, AIDS, pip implants, and traffic victims. That would change the world. Probably this is one of our problems. The colon is not the most attractive organ we have. But you can be positive and you can say, well, let's have a look. This is a very nice organ. Let's take care about it. This I will take for the last. This is a secret. There's some other good news. The 25% rule of the healthy lifestyle. Did you know that by following a healthy lifestyle, avoiding overweight, don't smoke too much, don't drink too much, eat healthy food, going regular to the fitness, you can decrease your risk for colon cancer by 25%. That's good news. We have to do this. Derek Flanders, we have a problem. There's a lack of knowledge about colon cancer in the general population, by the general physicians, and even among the specialists. And today, I also have to say, by the journalists, by the politicians, and also by the CEOs. I was lucky to meet three high school students four years ago, and we decided to start an own action. Stop Darmkanker, stop colon cancer. We had a problem. We didn't have any budget. Our budget was 0 0.000 euro, and it's still near 0, 0 euro. But there were the social media. They told me about the social media. And with social media, you can do four things. You can share things, you can discuss things, you can network, and you can write and publish if you want to do that. And that's what we did with colon cancer. And the result is that we have a community now on Facebook. Yesterday, we passed 25,000 people on Facebook. And I'm posting every day something about colon cancer on Facebook. And the response is overwhelming. We have these nice stories. Someone who wrote us, I'm still living thanks to a website, thanks to the information that I found on your website. That's nice. We have to stop colon cancer, and we can do this. 580. Do you know that today, in Europe, 580 people died of colon cancer? That's every three minutes, one person died in Europe of colon cancer. That's not one big airplane that disappeared, but every day, two big airplanes disappear with passengers with colon cancer. That's too much. We have to do something. That's one of the reasons that I wrote for his 50th birthday a letter to Brad Pitt. And I not only wrote a letter to Brad Pitt, but I am also sent him a test and asking him to do this simple test and let us know what the result was. It could be a big impact. And that was news. Since news, these 580 people who die every day, that's no news for the media. News is what happens today, not what happens every day. But when I wrote a letter to Brad Pitt, that was news. We were immediately on all the websites, all the newspapers, we were on television, we were on the radio, and we associated this with a thunderclap. A thunderclap is a very nice thing you can use by social media for promoting a campaign. And we looked for 100 supporters to have an enormous social reach. And this thunderclap, even people told, uh, thought that it would be spam. With this thunderclap, on January 7th, on 1.07, early after, uh, midday, using 314 supporters, we had a social reach of over 1,250,000 people. Budget zero reach over a million people who received the message of the Ibra Pit. I really hope that when these kids have my age, that they will live in a world where colon cancer is a rare disease, where there is no colon cancer anymore. I really believe that by sharing knowledge, we can save lives. Yes, we can share knowledge. And the other people also said, well, take your mobiles, like stopdarmkanker.be, follow us on Twitter, and I would really suggest you to look at the beautiful 2 minutes 40 seconds movie, The Curious Case of Dear Brad Pitt, where you will see the whole story. I thank you for your attention.